Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a little bit different. You asked me a lot of times what exact color I used for this thing or this thing. So I started to wonder myself what colors my favorite artists use. So of course I started with Hayao Miyazaki. He is using watercolors from the start of his career, from picture books, concept arts, storyboards and all kinds of comics, with a really distinct, rough but clear style of coloring. As far as I can tell, he uses Holbein watercolors from tubes and a heavy watercolored palette from Holbein also. And we actually know what colors he recommends because Studio Ghibli is selling a, a Holbein watercolor set, 24 colors, as recommended by Hayao Miyazaki himself. So I wanted to recreate this set and share it with you. I will also test it in another video, but for now let's make the set. And the colors are as follow. Pernament Yellow Lemon, Pernament Yellow Deep, Pernament Yellow Orange, Yellow Grey, Vermilion, Light Red, Chrisman Lake, Bright Violet, Opera, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Amber, Cerulean Blue, Cobalt Blue Hue, Ultramarine Deep, Prussian Blue, Compose Blue, and Davis Grey, Cadmium Green Deep, Permanent Green Number no. 1, and Ivory Black. And here is the list. Uh, but as you can see, there are three colors missing. Uh, because uh, they are not in production anymore. The original set that was sold in Stadio Ghibli Museum was probably made a few years ago and we don't have these colors anymore. They have been replaced with different colors in the sets that are on sale in the Stadio Ghibli Museum, but I wanted to recreate the original set. Fortunately, the maker provides a list how to make the colors uh, by mixing two colors uh, in appropriate proportions. So we can make Pernament Green number 3, the Cobalt Green Yellow Shade and Violet Grey from colors that are on sale now. So here I'm mixing Pernament Green number 2 and Viridian Hue in proportions 3 to 1 to get something that will be similar to Cobalt Green Yellow Shade. And here you can see how the colors look. I test them on a scrap piece of watercolor paper and the first two colors are the base colors used for the mix. So this is uh, Viridian Hue and Pernament Green number 2 and the result is really intensive green, I, I like it a lot. Uh, so the next mix is Sap Green and Yellow Ochre in 4 to 1 uh, proportion and this will give us another green color that will be similar to the original Pernament Green number 3. So here I test the base colors and the result is like this. It's a little bit more towards the golden side. It's probably similar to golden green. Okay, so this is the last mixture and this is Brilliant Pink 9 and Queen Acridon Violet 1, so 9 to 1. And this will give us a color that is similar to the original Violet Grey. Okay, so let's test the colors and I actually like all three of them. Probably like the Queen Acridon Violet the most, but the resulting one is also really nice. Okay, so the next step is the palette. I will use uh, one from the same Holbein Metal palette series as Hayao Miyazaki uses, just a little bit smaller one. I like these palettes a lot because even though they are metal, they are kind of light and they are actually easy to use outside because of the useful thumb hole uh, that makes them easy to hold. The minus is that the wells uh, are positioned so that if you fold it when the paint is still wet uh, you can get some spillage actually uh, from it so it's probably geared more towards uh, studio use than outside use okay so the final set looks like this and i have two wells more still for some additional colors but this is the original uh, configuration and for the end of this video I decided to do a quick color chart so you can see all the colors and also some uh, random mixes of uh, pairs that I found interesting. Uh, I'm putting the numbers of the colors near the mixes so you can know exactly what I mixed with what. As a whole I like this set. Uh, probably personally I would change some of the Opera Violet configuration to include the Quinacridone Violet and add some reds 
But for now I want to test the set as it is and I will be doing an illustration with it in one of the next videos. Uh, the mixes as you can see are really nice. I like the granulating effect that I can get with the paints and the range of the colors I can get is really actually uh, quite wide. And there are some colors that I would not uh, feature in my own set like the yellow grey or the opera uh, because I just don't use them. So it's nice to use someone else's set to get rid of your own uh, habits of always using the same colors for the same things. Also I want to recreate the colors I can see in the books that I have of Miyazaki's works with this set. So there are many things I want to try with it. This is basically the end of this part. I hope you liked it even though I didn't paint anything in this video. This is just something I wanted to do for some time and I thought I would share it with you. Tell me if you liked it in the comments. As always feel free to share and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.